Welcome back to the channel, I'm Arjun Ronquillo. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. A few months ago, I did a video on the Scholz Rockman headphone amp from the 80s, and to my surprise, you guys really enjoyed it, so thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure to make that video. Shortly after, I acquired a few more units. I got an original Rockman from my friend Albert, thank you Albert, which I plan on getting fully restored to its original glory. And I also got a Rockman Soloist, which is a lighter version of the X100, minus the Echo and one of the clean channels. So light. And I'm kind of glad I got these when I did because many of you sent me messages saying you were looking for Rockmans online but couldn't find any on Reverb or eBay. The good news is, as of this filming, there are several Rockman X100s on Reverb and eBay. The bad news is, the prices have almost doubled. Now I don't know if it was my video that resulted in this price increase, but if you want to blame me, by all means, I'll take it. I apologize. But not to fear, because I wanted to share with you a way you can get the Rockman sound right now for a fraction of the price. Before we get started, if you're into these kinds of videos, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay notified of all my new videos and whenever I go live. Now, if you didn't know, besides Boston and Def Leppard, one of the most famous users of the Rockman was Joe Satriani. He used it on his early albums like Not of This Earth and Surfing with the Alien. And you can clearly hear it on songs like Not of This Earth and Always With Me, Always With You. Lucky for us, IK Multimedia, the makers of the Amplitude plugin, released a Joe Satriani signature collection a few years ago, and it includes a model of the Rockman X100, appropriately named the Boston 100. And in this video, I wanted to do an A-B test with you guys, comparing a real Rockman X100 to the Amplitude version to see if it really nails the original sound. Now, this is not a sponsored video, Although I've done videos for Amplitude and IK Multimedia in the past, including this one, which I will link up here. This is not a sponsored video. I actually bought the Joe Satriani bundle last year. It's $99, which is basically a third of the price that I paid for this original Rockman, and basically a sixth of the price of what they're going for now. I'm sorry, again. So I'm just gonna do a simple test dial in similar sounds and play the same riffs and licks. And at the end of the video, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Does the plugin nail the sound of the original Rockman unit? So a brief overview of the features of the X100 if you're not familiar. We have four different channels, distortion, which is the highest gain setting, edge, which is kind of a low to medium overdrive setting, clean one, which is a clean sound with an amp-like simulation, and clean two, which is like a crystal clean DI type sound. On the X100, we also have a built-in echo and chorus, which can be shut off individually, but not both at the same time. Now, while there is a knob for the input gain, there is no real master volume. Instead, we have a three position switch to set the output volume. Now, the Amplitude model is nearly identical, but with the option to switch on and off the chorus and echo at the same time. Woohoo! So let's hear some sounds. For the samples, I'm just gonna run through the four channels on both the unit and the plugin keeping the chorus and echo effects on for the whole thing, just because I think that's really part of the Rockman sound. Oh, my God. 
So what did you guys think? What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. For me, I think the dirty sounds were spot on. It's really hard to hear the difference when I listen back. The clean sounds, particularly clean too, sounds quite different. I actually prefer the clean sounds in the physical Rockman unit. The Amplitude version is a little bit anemic to me and kind of lacks character. In my opinion, if you're looking for that Rockman sound, I think the Joe Satriani Signature Collection is a great investment. It's 99 bucks, you can download it today and start using it. For me, having the original Rockman units, you know, as a collector is important to me, but sonically, they're pretty darn close. All right, guys, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that thumbs up, share it with your family and friends. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos and guitar lessons, make sure you click the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. I'm RJ Ronquillo, and I'll see you in the next video.